Life on the Red Horse Ranch. Now here we are on Red Horse Ranch. It looks as though young Dewey Dawson and his dog are going to get to stay at the Red Horse Ranch, thanks to Alabama's kindness. But the minds of all the boys in the outfit are turning to something new, the big rodeo to be held in Danville. Only romantic-minded Tenderfoot can find anything else to occupy his mind. Let's join the boys. On the saddle I build on my head From out of my cold grassy bed Often and often I wonder At night when lying alone If every bright star up yonder Is a big people Oh, Tex, yeah. when we get over to that rodeo, if we ain't too tired from that horse-busting contest, we're sure going to count on you singing for the crowd. I reckon a few cows just won't take the wind out of me. Oh, no. Yeah, let's see. Was it four or five ribs you got busted last time at the rodeo? I don't uh, quite recollect uh, how many ribs has a man got. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, Dewey. Where are you going? Ain't you enjoying the singing? Of course I am. Well, I gotta go out and see if Elizabeth's still in his barrel. He might be getting lonesome for me. Uh, sure, he's all right. We fixed your dog up for a nice bed. Go ahead, though. All right, I'll come back, Alabama. All right. Looks to me like Dewey's as bad about his dog as Alabama is about Red. Sure is. Yeah, poor kid. It's the only friend he ever had, outside of his dad, before we brought him here. Almost broke his heart when he thought that that dog was gone. I sure looked for him to tear up the place for a spell. Seems he ain't such a bad sort, though, after all. No, but Dewey's a good name for him. I reckon his pap named him after a Dewey six-gun. <laughs> <laughs> well, Arizona, come on in and join the boys singing. Hello, boys. What's wrong with you now, Arizona? You look like something the cat drug in. <laughs> boys, that moon's still a shining. I wonder if my gal's still thinking about me. My gosh, you still mooning over that gal of yours? You ain't seen her for 15 years. I know it, but I wish that moon wouldn't shine so big out there. Yeah, it sure does set a fella to thinking. While flowers are blooming and the skies are blue. I'm lonesome, dear, for 
That sure was pretty, boys. That suit you all right, Arizona? Yeah, only my gal never did like singing much. I used to sing to her, but she just didn't seem to appreciate good music. <laughs> <laughs> Say, Tex, that reminds me. You were going to teach Tenderfoot to sing to the gals, wasn't you? Say, that's right. I'll bet Miss Rose is right out there now, waiting for some good-looking young fellow to sing to her. Well, Tenderfoot could do it if you just wanted to. Why, sure he could. Yeah. Tenderfoot, you're wasting a lot of good time down here with us. Go on up and serenade her. It always struck me you had a pretty good voice, Alabama. Yeah. Idaho, con Sonia, that ain't helping none. Well, what are you sitting there for, Tenderfoot? Uh, suppose Miss Rose is up at the house? Why, sure she's up at the house. Where do you think she'd be? Up there sitting on a veranda. Oh, oh, come on in, Dewey. Was Elizabeth all right? Of course he was. Only well, he didn't want me to leave him, though. Maybe I'd better sleep out there with him. Oh, no. <laughs> You'd like he's not keep him awake. Come on now, curl up over there in my bunk and forget about the dog. You look sort of drowsy. <gasps> All right. Hey there, you got to take your boots off. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, I'll help you. I can see you've been needing me for a long time. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Yeah. Hello, Bim. Can I ride that horse like you said tomorrow? Why, of course you can. I promised you, didn't I? And I climb in. The boys will sing you to sleep. Yeah. Go ahead, boys. Sing something about the moon so Arizona can join in. All right, All right. All right. to sleep already. Oh, is sure now. <laughs> yeah. Alabama, you're going to make a real buckaroo out of that boy if you keep on. <laughs> yeah. But be good to him, fellas. He's had a tough break so far. It don't look like he's going to miss his ma as long as you're around. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tenderfoot, are you still sitting over there? Huh? Why, sure. Well, I thought I told you to get on up on the veranda. Rose ain't going to wait all night for you. Well, but she isn't waiting for me, is she? Well, not much long as she ain't. Faint heart and air one fair lady. Well, uh, <laughs> I, I guess I will walk around a little bit. You know? Yeah, I'll walk around the house and up on the veranda. <laughs> Good luck, Tennessee. Well, I'll, I'll be back in a little while. All right. Alabama, yeah. you reckon you know just what you're doing? Oh, shut up, Idaho. This is between me and Tenderfoot. All right, all right. But seems like I remember reading a story one time about a couple of fellers 
Uh, Captain Miles Standish and John Alden. Let's see. What was it that gal said to John? Hello, Rose. Oh, Tenderfoot. I didn't see you coming. Well, I was just walking around. Pretty evening, isn't it? Oh, isn't it, though? Won't you sit down? <laughs> sure, I was just thanks. wishing the boys would come up here and sing. Well, I ain't much at singing, Rose. What is that Monty's playing? Oh, oh, it just seems to fit in with the night. Oh, that's Estrellita. What does that mean? A uh, little star. Is... That's right. No wonder. <laughs> yes. Isn't it funny the way those stars just seem to hang up there? <laughs> yes. They've been hanging there as long as I can remember, Tenderfoot. <laughs> Guys, I'm glad I'm out here with all the fellas and you. Well, we're all glad you're here, too. Are you, Rose? Well, of course. Oh, I think the Red Horse has the best bunch of boys on the whole range. Rose, have I disappointed you? Oh, I, I mean, you really think that I'm going to amount to something out here, don't you? Oh, of course. I know I'll never be able to be the kind of a fellow Alabama is, but... Why, Tenderfoot, we all think you've done wonderfully well for the time you've been here. You, I have tried. You know, I didn't care much till, well, till I came here and met you. Why, why, Tenderfoot... N now I do want to make good for you, Rose. Oh, why, of course, and, well, I'm glad, and Alabama's glad, and Dad, and all the boys. Why, we're all proud of you, Tenderfoot. Well, I don't care about any of the rest of them. It's you, Rose. Oh, oh no, Tenderfoot. Rose, don't you think you'll ever care for me? Oh, please, Tenderfoot. Not, not that way. Oh, of course I like you, and I hope we'll always be good friends. Oh, but... Rose, it's Alabama, isn't it? Please, let's not talk about that. Tenderfoot. Of course. I should have known it all the time. Oh, I... I'm sorry. Tenderfoot. We wonder what Alabama will do now that Tenderfoot knows he's first in Rose's affections. 